Okay, Lavi, what do we have today? Bah humbug. What is up with that? Well, do you want the funny answer or do you want the real one? Oh, well, I want both. <laughs> okay, well, well, the the funny answer is you ever watch The Grinch? Yes. Yes, yeah, some of us are just grumpy. And, then, and, then, and and in a sense, Christmas gives us an excuse to be grumpy. And it's just it's sometimes people are happiest when they're grumpy. And Christmas time makes them extra grumpy and so they're happy. And just let them be. But you know, you can't fill 3 minutes with that because that's too short. But there's a serious answer to that too because there's some depth to that. Why does Christmas make some people extra grumpy? Yeah, it's the happiest time of year. But it's not. Many people have lost loved ones around Christmas tragically, car accidents or for, you know, just normal reasons, cancer and all that type of thing. Old age. And so that it gets associated with whatever tragedy of that emotions. And if you don't have help dealing with that, if you don't successfully deal with that, it can linger. And you know, sometimes you have a childhood where Christmas is maybe aren't pleasant. Maybe you're the poor family in the neighborhood and if you get socks it's a good year and while your neighbors are getting the latest gaming system. And so, you know, Christmas there's nothing to look forward to. All you get to look forward to is everybody else having stuff and you've got socks. And you know, you're a kid, you can't comprehend the real meaning of Christmas. No one's bothered to tell you. The best meaning of Christmas you get is from Frosty the Snowman. And so it's very easy for someone who gets that reinforced through their childhood, through their teenage years and just becomes habit. You know, there's nothing to look for them, there's nothing to look forward to, and so they never build anything to look forward to. But there is hope. I saw today or this week someone who went through the foster system came through life is now an is now a self-published author and for her first time christmas is has meaning she gets the deeper meaning how delightful we get to grow we get to experience new things we can make new traditions. Yeah. And, and someone we know in our political world, well, I probably know her, but she's in our political circles, having the same experience in, the, in years past, Christmas has been tragic. But this year, there is hope and joy. And, and she's enjoying it. She's enjoying the spirit of Christmas. But you know what didn't change it? There's people asking them, hey, why don't you like Christmas? people loved her and accepted them for who they were and that love and acceptance is the christmas spirit and that's about love and that is your daily dose of love